My name is Tyler Veers and I'm from Comstock, Nebraska and I ride bulls. I got started rodeoing uh, by my dad. He rode bulls and uh, my stepdad Shane, he rode Bronx and he team ropes um, and now my mom barrel races. So I kind of just grew up around rodeo my whole life and uh, I remember seeing pictures of my dad and uh, ever since then I just always wanted to be a bull rider. Uh, I remember clear as day I was sitting in the high school parking lot and he uh, I got a phone call from this North Platte number and it was Dustin Elliott and he asked me if I wanted to come to Mid Plains and uh, rodeo for him and it was like a dream come true it's not every day a world champion bull rider uh, calls you and wants to you to be on his rodeo team and it, it was great I learned I learned so much not necessarily just about ro uh, riding bulls uh, I mean that too but it was about the business side of rodeo and the mental side of rodeo and how to be the best in the world well, uh, to be right honest with you, that whole summer I was struggling so bad uh, after the high school national finals. Uh, I couldn't ride anything and, um, you know, Dustin, he just sat me down and he said, you know what? He said, you can be the best. I've seen videos. I've seen you do it. And, uh, you know, from that point on, it really changed my attitude and I started staying on about everything. And, uh, you know, just being surrounded by uh, a guy like Dustin and and uh, talking with his friends and uh, you know just being surrounded by that on a daily basis it really just catapulted me into it in a whole nother you know a whole nother level you know that that meant the world to me you know that's what I went there to do I went there to, to be number one and, and uh, win the region and make the college national finals um, you know before then I had never really I'd, I'd always made high school nationals but I had never won you know I had never went over that over that hill and uh, you know finally you know, I accomplished that and that really just catapulted my, my career on, into the professional level as well, so. Well, you know, ever since I was a little itty bitty kid, you know, this is what I wanted to, this is what I wanted to do, you know, I wanted to be gone, you know, 320 days out of the year, you know, rodeoing and, and riding bulls for a living and being surrounded by my heroes every day, you know. And uh, finally, you know, this is the first year that I've been able to do that, you know, consistently. Uh, without having to be either at school or at a job, you know, and uh, it, it's, it's awesome, you know, it's, it's like a dream come true. I'm just so tickled to be here. And, uh, you know, the motivation, you know, to keep going when you get tired of driving, tra tired of traveling is, you know, when you show up to these rodeos and you're surrounded by these great fans, you know, and, uh, you know, performing in front of them, you know, and, you know, it's, it's just there's no other feeling like it. I always gravitate to who's doing the best, you know, at the top, who's at the top of their game, you know, right there and then. I gravitate towards that because that's where I want to be. Um, and right now it has to be uh, probably Sage Kimsey, you know, he, he rides everything that he gets on. And uh, luckily, you know, I kind of became friends with Sage at the College National Finals. And uh, I, I'm so blessed to be able to call him a friend, you know, and other guys like him because they're, they're dominating right now. And when you can surround yourself with guys like that, it just, it, it propels you, you know, to be just like them.